find them everywhere. Rob, what's your awesome thing of the week? Uh, I, I brought to the table hoverboards, my friend. Uh, hoverboards. <laughs> what's the deal with hoverboards? Now, for me, the reason why this week it's so prevalent. Now, it's been in my life for the last uh, for the last year, it's been something that, you know, I've watched kind of grow. Uh, they did a really organic thing with these hoverboards. You know, it, for those who aren't familiar, they're those little, um, they almost look like segues. You know, they've got the two round wheels and they're, they're you, you, you balance, you move, you, your balance goes forward, the little guy goes forward, it goes backward. I've heard these things go up to like 25 miles an hour. They, they are absolutely not safe. And <laughs> no, you know, nobody's wearing helmets with these things. They're not thinking they're skateboards, right? So they're riding them around in the house. You don't ride skateboards in the house, right? You ride them in the street or whatever. There aren't like the hard-edged tables. There are not like walls. There are not so so in the house these people are falling and there are so many amazing fails on YouTube. I could go for hours and hours just watching these older people attempt to do this thing. Young people, old people, it doesn't matter. So hoverboards have been really on the front of my mind in the last couple of weeks, but I also really enjoyed looking up tweets of young people who did not receive a hoverboard on Christmas. <laughs> that has been such a joy for me because those things are like 500 bucks or 800 bucks, whatever they are. They're, they're, they're hundreds of dollars for these things. And if you've got two or three kids, they're not getting hoverboards for Christmas. Um, <laughs> and so there's a lot of disappointed children um, tweeting about how terrible their parents are because they did oh, not wow. receive Hoverboards, ungrateful little tweeters. Um, so yes, the hoverboard has been something that I've watched because, um, and I love that it's I love that it's gone huge and everybody's and they're catching fire and it's it's <laughs> there's a lot of mayhem happening. Um, but the marketing of these is something that has been quite re remarkable. The one thing that surprised me about uh, about this is, you know, there's those parents that ignored the 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 hey you should throw these away because they're going to explode warning oh yeah nobody's looking at that let's be honest yeah so i'm waiting for like the the aftermath of of like <laughs> the fiery the, aftermath <laughs> the fiery mat <laughs> aftermath when when skynet rises up and they all explode simultaneously <laughs> Like that's, <laughs> when when George Hot's uh, AI car AI that he made his garage uh, starts controlling all the hoverboards and makes them go off <laughs> because because I, I think right like a few days right before Christmas I think it was Amazon made an announcement to a lot of the people that bought through Amazon mm -hmm. they gave everyone reimbursements mm -hmm. so they gave everyone their money back and said don't even ship these back just please throw them away. <laughs> Wow. So you know how many hover hoverboards are out oh. there that should have been thrown away that to your point I don't want my kid screaming at me. Right, right. Because he didn't get a hoverboard and here's this hoverboard that I have and it might catch fire. So here's the interesting thing. Rob, you said about how how smart this was that it that it caught fire the way it did that it exploded the way that these are not good terms. Um <laughs> you know that it expanded the way it did, I guess. But really it was kind of an accident thing. So I I guess there was this design and it didn't get patented or something. So that's why there's this battery problem. Because everybody in China is just pounding these things out. And yeah. hoverboards, like there's no name. There's no official name for any of them. So we've all just settled on hoverboards, right? Um, and, and, and they'll range, but basically be the same design and quality from like three hundred dollars to fifteen hundred dollars mm -hmm. um depending on where you got it and some of them that i'm seeing uh we're like oh i didn't get this from x chinese company they're uh, the, the big issue with the batteries um somebody was buying them as a reseller from one of the chinese factories and relabeling the batteries or something like that and just slapping them in there you know, that, that, that aren't appropriate. And that's been part of the problem for this is, is that kind of mismanaged thing. Just, you know, trying to shove this stuff through the pipeline because it's so hot right now. And they can get them for cheap because China, I guess. And the, the one guy I know that we're got, got, he got his daughter one and he got his girlfriend's son one, I think it was. He actually got theirs through eBay. Mm -hmm. So there's eBay resellers oh, yeah. that are doing like they're buy everywhere. it now. They're everywhere. So yeah, they, and I've seen them at Southwest Village Mall. Yeah, I mean, yeah. They're, they they're are everywhere. Around. The first time I saw one, 
everybody tells their first hover, hover. by the way uh, back to the future on, part on, two on, it was, it was by the 19. way on, yeah exactly <laughs> on the video on the video i don't know if you saw while rob was explaining the hoverboard concept uh, we were showing our uh, friend of the show jim Loke. He, he's down mm -hmm. in washington dc now um and um, I, I forget i think fox down there um and he, he's in the back trying out the hoverboard and even like i got out um over at work hard up there in allentown and i'm on a back alley and there's like somebody's house comes out like apartment or whatever comes out right there right beside where we park and they're like doing that tryout of the hoverboard and wiping out on, on the sidewalk but the first time i saw one i was sitting at a starbucks downtown pittsburgh um off of market square and i just see two people hover in over out and i'm just like what the hell did i just see now that and now they're just everywhere and that was about two months ago they're, they're I, uh, oh go ahead I, I was just gonna say that for me what i love about the hoverboard is that about a year a little more than a year ago i started to see them pop up mm -hmm. and what the company did and i haven't read any articles about this this is just from my own perspective um I, i'm someone who's very active on vine and uh have a lot of friends in the youtube world I saw that this company gave a number of top Viners who have millions of followers these this product, right? The hoverboard product. They didn't give them a name. The Viners just started riding around on them in six second increments. Didn't even say, hey, check out this product. And, and then I started to see YouTubers like um, Pittsburgh's own I, Justine. Um, her and her sister got a set of them. And everybody's just having fun on them. But they're not saying where they came from. They're not saying where you can get them. It was a complete viral marketing thing that I watched and I kept seeing these comments like, where did you get that? What is that thing? Oh, my God. I got to have this. I got it. So there's been a year of these children d like dying to get their hands on it. And I'm sure that the company that originally did that, that's probably not the ones catching fire. That's probably not the ones being eBayed. You're right. I think it was there was a patent problem. Whatever it is, um, it was a viral marketing thing that absolutely that, that, that took over. But it was fun from my perspective to watch the social media viral marketing of this. I've never seen a, a, a TV ad for it. Mm -hmm. I haven't even nope. seen like little ads pop up. It's literally been watching social media influencers push these things down the throats of children across the world. Or, or as as I was just doing, watching all the hoverboard fails right now. I, the, I there's a compilation from like Vine or something on here, and uh, I could watch this all day. I'm telling you, me too. It's pretty. That's amazing. why. That's why. That's why I brought it to the cast, my friend. Oh, geez, this is great. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, he's going down a hallway. How is this going to nope. end? And there they go. Oh, is this guy's going to do a handstand on it? Um, yeah, for my ten seconds. Yeah, not even ten. Oh, wait, I got to stick around for this. I'm sorry, audio listeners. Um, but really just look up hoverboard fails and it's the first video that pops up. Uh, but there, there was some kind of precursor toy to this. Uh, are you talking about the wheel? Yes. It was, or, or the, or like the rock or the rocket skates. The, <laughs> no, there was like a wheel. It was like two wheels and they, it was kind of self propelled. So, and it so had to I do saw with, this. I saw this and I don't know if this is the same thing, but there's a thing that it's a tire. Like it is a tire and you put a hand, a uh, well, hand, you put a foot. We, we, I thought we did, we looked this up a, a little bit ago, found out what the name of it was, but it, it's a tire. You got a foot in front of and behind the tire. And it's like a unicycle balancey thing. Uh, the first time I saw that, I'm sitting up here in Beachview and I'm like, Beachview isn't really progressive. Like, you know, they're not going to have cool toys like this, right? Just rolling down the road, rolling down right along the train tracks. I'm like, you know, yep. And, and like, this, this, like that, it took me like a couple of times to see him to figure out what's going on because I'm like, who has a unicycle in this neighborhood? What's happening? But, but here? people, people who use those, a lot of kids who use those mm -hmm. can jump on these and have zero because they got because the, they got the bounce down. Right. Well, I I saw one of those at the Carnegie Science Center. They had an employee riding around the rails, you know, or uh, you know the the ramps. And I asked the question, how long does that last? And I'm pretty confident he said like 35 minutes straight. <laughs> and I thought, where can you go for 35 minutes before you had to plug it back in before you're stranded where, oh, yeah. where you are? I could I could make it from my house. I mean, it's a quarter of a mile from my house to the train. It takes me 12 minutes to walk. There you go. Okay. There you go. That's exactly oh. it. You know, there's a, there's a large extension cord at all times. <laughs> though. But no, when I would get to if I got to, once I got to work. Yeah. yeah. I could plug, it, plug in it in while the eight hours throughout the day. Right. And then when coming right. home. Just throw out that Fitbit now. I mean, yeah. you're not even saying, doing it. York, I'm saying New York City, you can get like three blocks. And <laughs> New York City, they're outlawed. They're they're. It's against the law because you can't do it on the sidewalk. Yeah, they evoke that 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 like yeah. motorized vehicle on the sidewalk. Yeah, law. Um, that happening 
thing to these hoverboards too and malls mm-hmm. and stuff. People mm-hmm. are like banning them. They're, it's yeah. like absolutely yeah. not. You can't it's do that. It's understandable. It's understandable. It's like the wheel shoes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so there's that. But uh, you mentioned about kind of the commute thing. There was actually on, on The Verge, they had a great video because there was some kind of like fold up a bowl, uh, uh, motorized bike. Okay. That, and they're trying to they they just like rode it around New York City for a day and see to see how far they could go. And they said, you know, depending on your commute, it may just get you there. And it was kind of that same kind of concept. Again, this is a very specialized. I live in a very city thing like a Manhattan or 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 near downtown Pittsburgh or something like that, or you know, close enough to the public transportation. So I mean. It's a very, very niche thing, I think. Mm-hmm. But anyway, in cities, there's a lot of people there. So, and, and, you know, you're not getting this in the country for any reason, you know. So, remember. I mean, it probably doesn't travel well across farmland. No, no. Or gravel. <laughs> remember, I'm the one that didn't grow up uh, with, with sidewalks around here. So, um, but anyways, no, thank you. Uh, I, I'm glad we finally got to take a deep dive into the hoverboard subject. <laughs> And we we had to wait for them to catch on fire in order to do that. Everybody apparently. else taking deep dives off of the hoverboard. <laughs> <laughs> also entertaining. Thank you, the internet. Uh, Chilla, what is your awesome thing so, of the week? So CES kicked off this week, and one of the one what? Of the, there's a CES there's this a week. CES what? this week. And it didn't even it doesn't even start really start till tomorrow, isn't that? Or is was, it yeah, started it's today? A, what's that? What's that mini show that they do? I just watched the video on it today, but that's it's usually the thing where the most uh, interesting gadgets are from the the, the the hate seekers or something like that. The uh, the one that the, the one that's always in that room in Las Vegas with the really horrible carpet. Uh, and, and I haven't. I know what you're talking about, but I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> the thrill seeker, the heat seeker, something like but, that. But, but everyone starts like, the showstoppers. Showstoppers? Is that what it is? And yeah. They, this is where like they used to have a lot of the Apple stuff. Yeah. That they don't really do as much anymore. 